there's a wee bit of handheld, but you, so you, you plonk your tripod and then you just look at the same time. And I've, I don't know how many of you have experienced this. And I've heard loads of actors say, as soon as you say action, it's a kind of exciting thing. It's more adrenalized. They use sports terminology, like you're in the zone and you're running or something like that. You hear lots of that. And this micro cinema that, I, that I've started making, when I plonk the camera down and then look, you know, you're afraid, if you're standing on a bridge, you're afraid to move too much in case the bridge wobbles. So it feels like you're holding your breath and then you really look at what's happening within the frame. Mm -hmm. And then you look again afterwards when you go home to your hotel room that night and just there, um, I was looking at some footage that I shot in Moscow last night and just looking at it and seeing, is there anything in here? If you look again mm -hmm. and if you think that, if you think that everyday life is interesting and any human being is interesting, if you look carefully enough, you might see something. Mm -hmm. you know, and some of these shots are probably, probably too long or whatever, I don't know, but you know, there's a sense of, Let's just hold on for a minute and see that film. I worked with this great right. filmmaker, Mike Rigsby, and he said, you know, once the car passes and once it goes out of shot, the aftermath of the car, what happens afterwards, is the bit that's most interesting. Don't cut when the car leaves. Wait until the leaves blow back by after the car, or the old person goes wrong, who isn't moving the way a car can move, and that's the, the moment. You know, so I learned from, from that guy about that thing, you know. And,